Hello YouTube. Um, once again, Bird of Time build thread, my first build. Back again to talk with you about some things that I've learned. Um, I've kind of gotten stuck on the stabilator or stabilator. Maybe I should learn how to say it. Um, what got me was where this red control horn is pointing. It says shim the trailing edge and outer edge 330 seconds. And then up at the top of the plan, it says to shim it a sixteenth. So I'm sitting here doing the calculations, putting this stabilator together in my head, thinking why on earth would you shim the rear more than you would shim the leading edge? Couldn't figure it out. Got on the forums, and finally someone responded to me. His name was John, and he said, hey, the plans are wrong. Okay? Now, you know, they look wrong to me. If somebody works for Dynaflight or whatever and you're going to get all angry, the plans aren't wrong, uh, don't do that. Just tell me why because we're obviously both missing something. Someone also pointed a tuning the bird of time kit or making it a better kit, posted an article by Dave Thornburg on that subject who is the original designer of the plane. And apparently he revisits this kit some years later and rebuilds it. And believe it or not, there's a paragraph in there where he basically says something like, hey, forget all that jazz about shimming the stabilizer. Just shim the trailing edge a sixteenth and you'll be good to go. Okay, and that makes more sense because while you're shimming it, and I have a picture of another person's stabilator here, while you're shimming it, and again, guys, this is low production video. But you can see where his left thumb is, and you can see the ribs that are 1 16th thick pass over. The top rib passes over, and the bottom edge, or the bottom rib rather, passes under the spar. All the way to the left, you can see part of the stabilator is sheeted, and that is 1 16th sheeting. So, what you're basically doing by shimming is centering the spar so that you have a sixteenth to go under. Okay, so I, I hope that clears it up. If it doesn't, I'll show my stabilator when it's done, but that's what the shimming is all about. If somebody knows that 330 seconds is right for the trailing edge and the outer edge, please, you know, leave a comment and let me know because I, I think it's just a plain old misprint. So. Again, you're making a sandwich with two ribs under and over the spar connecting at the leading and trailing edges and you want that to be centered so you have a symmetrical airfoil when you're all done. A um, couple other things I'd like to point out for mica or uh, as this would be uh, Wilson Art for mica samples available at your home improvement store guess what? They are pretty close to 1 16th inch thick. So I'm going to use those to shim my trailing and outer edges when I do this build. Now to be really anal, these tend to warp a bit. This one's pretty straight, but watch that, because if you get a cup in it, then it's going to tend to rise up and throw off your shimming. Um, they're bendable too. You can just bend them with a little force. But that's what I'm going to use for shims. Yeah, you could use balsa. Um, and maybe I'll do that just because it'll be the stock I'm coming from. But just a little tip or thing that I found out there. And another tool that I didn't mention but I'll mention now. I have a digital caliper. Um, you know, the manual ones are fine. But for measuring thickness of wood of shims, whatever it is you're going to be doing, this can't be beat. I bought this one at Harbor Freight for 8 bucks on sale. The only downside is it has a battery and I don't think it shuts itself off. So you may choose to get a manual dial caliper. Um, just as good. Accomplishes the same thing. And last but not least, you will notice I brought out the heavy duty knife. Guys, this balsa when you read it's petrified or rock hard on these bird of time threads, this is not an exaggeration. Wow, this wood is hard. And I don't know where they got it or if it petrified 
sitting in the box over the years, but in either case, it's hard. Get yourself some extra razor blades. Um, with that, I'll be signing off, and I'll see you when I have something else to say.